Hey everybody, Andrew Morgan from uh, Tinscale Technology here and with the impending uh, release of uh, ThinkKiosk 4.1 I wanted to give you a quick demo on a new feature we're calling uh, Citrix uh, Storefront Integration and um, what's Citrix Storefront Integration is uh, with ThinkKiosk is circumventing the, uh, the web browser in order to access your virtual desktops and talking directly with the Citrix Storefront uh, server um, we wanted to do this for a couple of reasons. Uh, sometimes the browser can be quite cumbersome, um, particularly if the users are only connecting to one desktop or in tap and go scenarios where the user has a, a tap access card and the, the credentials are pushed from the card into the system. We wanted to be able to talk directly to the Citrix uh, storefront server, circumventing the web policies and being able to retrieve just the items we're interested in, so desktops or uh, workspace control uh, reconnections. So without further ado, um, I'm just going to show you what, how the integration works and uh, what it looks like in front of the user when we go forward. To um, to turn on receiver and storefront integration uh, under uh, you know a, a Think Kiosk profile, you make your way down to this new tab called the receiver tab, and you enable the storefront integration up here at the top. You need to specify where your Citrix storefront is, so you're pointing again directly at the store rather than the, the web interface. You can choose to use uh, local credentials or you know single sign-on, I'll cover that a little later. And then there are a couple of settings here really around workspace control and how and when you wish to reconnect or not reconnect for that matter. Um, very, very simple to set up. And on the appearance tab again, you can choose whether to display just the receiver tab or if you want to be able to integrate local applications or even backup browser sessions, you can do that too. So let's have a look at how it works. So in the background here, I've got a Windows XP machine um, with receiver 4.1 loaded and it's integrated with uh, the Citrix store. So when ThinkKiosk starts up, the user is prompted for credentials. And from there, we're going to talk directly to the storefront retrieve the resources that we have access to, desktops only, and we'll also do some workspace control too. So in this scenario, uh, I'm gonna log in as a user. And as you can see, the user only has one desktop available and straight away, as quick as lightning, he's sent straight off to his desktop. No waiting around for the web interface to find out where the user is and, and no waiting around for the user to click it. It's very, very, very fast. So for in, in this scenario, it cuts out a lot of the time you spend waiting for the browser to go forward. Um, looking at workspace control, if we move over to a, a Windows 7 machine I've prepared over here, uh, we'll see that one of the features that we really, really wanted, and I think one of the features that's been lacking from Citrix workspace control all the way through, is granular access to what you want to reconnect to or what sessions you already have open. Um, typically, uh, Citrix workspace con or, uh, control will just fire up any session that you currently have open and if you have more than one open it will open all three on top of each other making it incredibly difficult to find out which desktop you've, uh, you've actually ended in. So with with uh, our new storefront integration you can choose exactly which desktop resource you want to reconnect to or not at all as the case may be. So in this scenario I can, I can go ahead and cancel, I can choose the resource I want and again as fast as lightning off I go to my virtual desktop and I'm working away for the day. So dropping out of that, once I disconnect from the server, the local machine is now available for the next user to use. Uh, again, just to demo exactly what the workspace control is doing, I can choose, I'm going to reconnect to my 2012 desktop this time, connect, and off it goes as fast as you like to your virtual desktop access. The other feature that we're, we're extremely proud of in, in this scenario is actually actually the SSO. The SSO piece really is around um, being able to have the user log in as themselves and pass their local credentials off to the native store and to the, and to the native desktop without having to prompt them once. Uh, this was a feature that was in web interface. It was very cumbersome to set up. Um, it's coming back to storefront, as everybody knows, uh, and it's still quite cumbersome to set up. But uh, I think we've done a good job to integrate this. So if we go over to this Windows 7 machine, and it's pre-configured for Citrix single sign-on, logging in as the user, we will uh, log in, open up to in kiosk. It'll automatically log in as our local credentials, and we can choose what resources to reconnect to 
not having to enter a password once. So this time I think I'll go to my Windows 7 desktop. And that's it. Simple as you like. Um, very, 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 very easy and very, very powerful. Uh, circumventing the website, obviously, and going directly to the store. Um, we're extremely proud of this functionality, as I believe we're the only think think client vendor out there who can actually do this. So um, I hope you found this informative. And in the next couple of days, you'll be seeing more Tinkiosk 4.1 videos around features and functionality coming out. I hope you tune in for the next one. Uh, thank you for your time.